Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. If you're truly loaded into the mad, we're hunting Nightkin. And, um, I don't think we're doing a very good job at it. For one. Oh, we're running really low on ammo for that, apparently. What are we doing for these? Let's get the revolver. Yeah. Also, it would be nice if I remembered which directions I have yet to check. Because they're probably actually plenty, never mind. We are hunting night game. There should be like... A few still remaining. That's a corpse. That I did not create. At least I don't think I created this corpse. Come and get it, you big dumb. Hey, you're not one of those things out there. Who the hell are you? I'm exploring, that's all, mother with you. Maybe you noticed a bunch of invisible monsters out there. I've been in here, trying not to get dead. Okay, so what can you tell me about the creatures out there? I kill them on sight, so we haven't had much time to get acquainted. They're hard to see, obviously. But they are too smart when it comes to tactics. We're not stepping in traps. How did you end up trapped down here? First off, I'm not trapped. This was a tactical choice, alright? I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive position. And I've been defending it, right? Oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. Name's Harlan. Pleased to meet you. What happened was... I was escorting folks down to work when those things attacked us. Most of the fight was upstairs, but some folks panicked and made for the basement, and I went after them. Well, turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs, and things went to shit fast. I couldn't find the others, so I fell back to this room, set up a nice little kill zone. End of story. Uh, you don't look like the other cools from Christ's group. Guess the outfit gives that away, huh? I never did buy into that religious mumbo-jumbo with the robes and all that shit. It gets lonely out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you that Bright's group has got some fine-looking ghoulettes in it. Huh. Or maybe I would have to tell you. <laughs> anyway, I helped them out. And they kept me supplied with ammo and pleasant company. All right. Why would I have to kill him? Okay, how can I help you get out of this room? Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowhere. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement, she's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. I'd have gone looking myself, except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, seem pretty resourceful. Find my friend, and I'll get out of your way. I did find her, unfortunately. I see. Spare me the details. God damn. She had the yellowest smile. You did your part, so I'll do mine. Go ahead and root around up here if you want. I'm going to make a break for topside. Joy. Alright, uh, do you have any... Well, you probably don't really know. That's a bear trap. Oh. So is that, uh, do make sure you don't step into any of your traps, sir. I've come to hunt down the last of the Nightkin. It doesn't appear to be as easy as one would have hoped. I can't use him to come here. But couldn't he have? Why didn't he use it? Could have told them that it was going as it was. And thanks for that, my dude. Hmm. Oh, so thanks for the drugs, dude. Though I'm less interested in those. That was nice. 
That was really nice. Okay, terminal, what do we have in here? Shipment mistake. First of all, let me say that everyone here is really excited about the merger. Wait. Oh. In light of yesterday's upsetting events, all employees are hereby directed to give a thorough reading to Repcon's sexual harassment at workplace behavior policies. Also, while it is not explicitly stated in the employee handbook, unauthorized use of military hardware against fellow employees is grounds for immediate termination. Oh. We are sending back two crates of devices labeled stealth points back to you. According to the manifest, each crate contained one gross. 144 of the devices. As a result of employee misbehavior, not mine. One crate was opened and is missing five stealth points. Sorry about that. No. Oh. Did they actually get sent back then? Because I would assume no. Due to this whole. Oh, Ow, that was dumb. I didn't quite expect that. Oh. I could do with a nap now, I guess. What do we need? It's easier to do this, I think, than to use Doctor's bag. And maybe have some purified water along the way. Okay, why are we walking now? Is that why? Is that why we're walking? Oops. I'm not good with traps, am I? Where is this trap? I don't know where these traps are. Is the issue. Also... Why can't they run? Legs are fine. This is something. No, there isn't. Why am I incapable of running? That is apparently the key I have chosen for that. I thought it was not. Oh well. I don't know this on that bugger. I don't know if I need the extra shotgun. Oh! So that's what killed me. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Um. Well, let's not do that again, eh? Sounds like a plan. Random fall on traps anyway. Those were of the non-lethal kind. So it's fine. We do still need to find more Nightkin, I think. Unless quests go... Oh. No, I've apparently killed them all. It's good. It's good, let's go home. After a nap. We can't have a nap here. That's an issue. Guess we're going upstairs to have a nap. I could really do it with a nap, see. Won't be difficult to achieve though, because we're just gonna go up here. Up the stairs, past the door, into a bed, and then talk to Jason. That's a plan. We probably have killed all of the barrels, haven't we? Probably. Sorry, Jason. Yes. Yes. Okay, uh, open this door. Go around here. Take the first free bed you see. Take a nap. Excellent. Uh, have you seen Bright, Bright Follower? I seek the bright one. The one that is illuminated by himself. Uh, 
As if something's. Hey there. Hi. Is the way clear? Demons are gone. Praise the Creator and bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. Sure thing. Time to s launch your bastards into space. I hope you have fun. Oh. That's the shortcut I can use. Is this is yeah, I can still go from here. Like it You have spacesuits! You actually have spacesuits. Oh, oh Can I? Is this a possible sh oh god? This isn't what I had in mind, but um is there any loot up here? Most likely not. I fell down. Didn't get killed there. So there is that. Guess we're gonna go and find the basement again. Uh, it's probably in the general direction of that way. Different turn that way. Yes. Most likely. But then they turn that way. The path then that way. Directions are set. And at least there are no concealed mines down here, so I will not explode and die. I think. Maybe. We can hope. So, when I declared at the beginning of the episode to go and hunt down the last nightkin, I have apparently already done so, eh? That can happen. I need to speak with you one last time before I descend into the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Let's talk about Chris. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed... lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us, to ensure the success of the Great Journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the great journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you and Chris to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. You are redeemers both. So it's just going to leave Chris behind? Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. Well, that's none of my business. Chris shall be declared the saint of the great journey before we depart. I hope this will ease his sadness. Are you seriously going to make your great journey on those rockets? Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. Cool. Alright, see ya. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Good. Now. You'd never suspect this, because I won't do it. Alright then, uh, Chris, are you on intercom? You're not. Chris, are you down here? 
Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the great journey. Well, how can I help? I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Uh, track down the igniting agent. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. Alright, uh... Can you give me tips from a great task? Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up. If they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. Huh. I'll see you around. Bye. Are you sure I can just... I can't just shoot you both? Because I think that would be easier than finding this radioactive isotope that I seek. Not sure if it's trying to direct me. I don't know if it's trying to direct me way out there. Well, I suppose in that case. could go and seek the way to just about over there. Oh, hello. Don't you have the nicest things? Especially the absent. Alright, let's get out of here. Before the radiation gets me. I don't need no stinking radiation poisoning. I do wish to climb up there, however. The mustard part of this structure that we previously left unexplored. But this is a nice pile of corpses, isn't it? I'm quite proud of it myself. Quite proud. Indeed. So why did they just go this way, I wonder? Because I was following the road, I suppose. Also because this is not an actual route. It, that's that probably has most to do with it. I wonder if people sell sandy roots and prop flowers because I don't feel that I can I don't actually remember what those savior roots look like. So I'm quite sure I will not be able to find them if I need to. You're just a feral ghoul, aren't you? I don't suppose I just have to put you down. I wasn't exac exactly expecting anyone here. How did I not see this corpse last time? Where did you guys come from? I thought we had solved this place. Apparently, we had not. Yes, that's cool. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Please to stand back and be shot in the head repeatedly. You performed the act admirably, but it was insufficient. I'm sorry, but I feel. You will have to die. Which is what I asked you to do in the first place, but um... I suppose you're not as cooperative as you could be. I guess I'm gonna have to throw it on the ground, I think. Yeah, that sounds pretty likely. Um... Yeah, 
You know how it goes by now. Well, not well enough, apparently. I think we're gonna have to heal. We're gonna have to heal fast. Which does mean steam packs. A whole mess of them. Well, thank you for the radiation poisoning, bastard. Here, have some more dynamite. In fact, have a load. Are you dead? You're not. Why are you standing still then? Can I shoot you now? Yes, good. Okay. Busted. We still have enemies about. One's over there. Bye. No. No, I guess we crippled. Yeah, we're crippled and we have radiation poisoning. Right. That's nice. Fuck you. Thank you. Right, I actually wanted to loot this area up here, so let's do that now. That the rain is gone. It's not actually rain, it's... Pile of... God damn... Ghouls of the unfriendly sort. Yeah. Not an issue though. We can... Celebrate this situation by repairing us in nice little RCW thingy. Plus it looks like we have taken care of the cool situation on the road, which we... Why had they respawned? How and why had they gone ahead and respawned? That simple action really took me by surprise, you know. You know what? I'm gonna use my recharge pistol. See what happens. Pew 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 pew. That's what happens. This, you don't actually need to reload this one. As we can see, it's generating its own ammo as we speak. Let's go down here. Oh, right. There was still someone on the road, wasn't there? I think I'll kill that one as well and then continue on with my own business. Which mostly involves returning to town and selling some shite. We might as well walk. Don't you dare sway. Pew 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 The best thing about using this gun like pew 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 is the fact that it doesn't actually use up any ammo. It just pew. It just pew 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 as long as you want. And we just... Dog meat, I'm not entirely sure why. But I guess that's acceptable as well. At least that guy is dead. At least that guy is dead. Here is that. So his corpse is still radioactive, so it cannot walk too close to it. Unless I want radiation poisoning, which I fear I do not. Anyway, we have made it back to Novak, so I guess I'll thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Because, babe, that sounds like a completely reasonable thing to do. Yeah. Okay, hi.